The Bible records that Joseph gave grain to both the Egyptians and his brothers. When his brothers opened their sacks of grain, there was money on the top. This was his family. You too are the family of God. Your grain is the word of God. Every time you receive the word of God, you also receive a blessing. Here's today's edition of Joseph's Sack of Grain. Well, greetings to all our listeners. Uh, we thank you for tuning in. And I pray that you will be blessed by this message today. It's the 50th episode uh, in the series, uh, Joseph's Sack of Grain. So we thank God for that. And I would also like to express my thanks to Pastor Joey uh, for the opportunity to share on his program today. Well, uh, for the months of May and June, our church has uh, an overarching theme uh, that's focusing on the family. And so today I also want to uh, share on uh, that subject a little bit. We're looking at Romans chapter 12, verse 18, and uh, it says, If it is possible, as far as it depends on you, live at peace with everyone. The book of Romans uh, is one of the most powerful and insightful books of the Bible. Uh, it starts with 11 chapters of uh, doctrine, and then it transitions to five chapters of practical instruction. And uh, this union between doctrine and life uh, it illustrates for us the importance of both uh, how, what we believe and also how we live out those beliefs uh, in our daily lives. In other words, we've been learning a lot of stuff over the years, but we need to learn also how to live out those lessons on a practical level. You know, uh, the, for us today, uh, relationships can bring great joy, but as most of most of us know sometimes relationships can also bring us great pain. Uh, every relationship will have conflict at one time or the other. And uh, I don't know what your situation is at home, what it's like at home with your mom, your dad, or maybe your brothers or sisters. Uh, but I do know that families very often have a lot of issues. And uh, I always say that Families are like chocolate, mostly sweet with a few nuts here and there. And, uh, you know, I would love to create a device, man. Create a device or an app that would allow us to uh, just press a button. And that person who hurt me, uh, you know, just press the button. They would come running to me, bow down at my feet and kiss my feet. You know, uh, I think I watch too many sci-fi mo movies but anyway you know uh, Romans chapter 12 verse 18 it recognizes that we cannot control other people uh, we cannot control their anger their emotions or their words or their attitudes but guess what we can control ourselves we can control our anger our words our responses our emotions and our attitudes and that's why this verse says, if it is possible, as far as it depends on you, live at peace with everyone. As far it as it depends on you. Really speaking, you are the one who can bring a sense of peace in those strange relationships. You are the one who can open up the channels of communication once again. You are the one who can salvage those broken uh, relationships by your words, by your actions, by your conduct, uh, by your, uh, the way you carry out yourself, you can encourage peace rather than discord. And so, uh, you know, we've seen with the pandemic over the last year or so, we've seen that life is short and life is unpredictable. Uh, we've seen how maybe two or three people in a family have passed away because of this disease. And uh, we have lost wonderful mothers, fathers, sons, brothers, sisters. All of that has happened. And I want to ask you today, are you going to be the type of person who goes to the graveside and cries their hearts out uh, for the loss of their loved ones? But while they were alive, you wouldn't even give them a cup of cold water. While they were breathing, you held on to that grudge religiously. While they were alive, you didn't even pick up the phone to make a call, say hello, 
or something like that. But guess what? It's too late on that hospital bed. It's too late at the cemetery to try and make a difference. Now is the time for us to live in peace and harmony with our families. Now is the time to ask for forgiveness and also to forgive. Now is the time to reconcile as Christ would ask us to do. There's no time like the present to make some adjustments. And, uh, you know, you cannot say you're a child of God if you don't want to make peace and insist on holding grudges. Uh, Matthew 5 verse 9, it says, Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the sons of God. And therefore you cannot say you're a son if you don't want to make peace with people. And then also, when you make peace, you'll feel a burden lifted up from your heavy shoulders. You'll feel better and you will have joy. Proverbs 12, 18, it says, Deceit is in the hearts of those who plot evil, but those who promote peace have joy. We want your life to be filled with the joy of the Lord and all the goodness that comes from God. And so pursue peace today. Peace with your families, peace at home, uh, peace with those strange relationships. And uh, I know that you and your family uh, will be blessed. Lots of love from Pastor Joey and us and our church. And uh, we hope that you have a blessed day and that you enjoy this devotion. Uh, please tune in next week uh, for more episodes in this series. We thank you. God bless you and your family.